Look at that fish. Look at that. That's awesome. Hey, it's Carl here, and today's going to be a little different. I'm actually going to be fishing out of my canoe this time. So um, I'm actually on my way up north to meet up with Tyler. We're headed north to do our annual northern salmon trip where we go fishing for salmon, we go fishing for whitefish. But we're both doing a couple solo things first. And because we had something different planned when we're up there, I do have the canoe with me. And this year when I was family camping, I kept driving by this lake that looked really, really interesting to me. So I did a little research. It's supposed to have bass, pike, and walleyes in it. And it just looks like the kind of lake that should have some big largemouths on it. So because it's on route and because I have my canoe with me, I'm gonna stop here, spend the afternoon in this lake, and hopefully we can get into some fish. First cast. So just tuck myself up against the edge here. There's a strong north wind coming. It's really hard for boat control. So I tuck in along the edge and then I'm just gonna throw out and bring it back into shore. But this north wind is cold. It just warm, won't warm up today at all. It's uh, Last night my tent was minus one and it's only mid-September. So there's been a, quite a cold front come through. I hope that doesn't affect the fishing too much. but. Got something. I suspect it's a pike. Oh, so, oh boy. I hope we do better than this. Well, that's a fish. It's a start. Certainly hope they get bigger, that's for sure. But it's a start. Oh, that's a bass, finally a bass. There, finally. Got one little tiny pike. And then, not a great large mouth but a large boat. I'm gonna admit, I have really struggled today. I've probably been here an hour and a half and the wind's blowing me all over. I'm finally at the north end of the lake, so the, the wind's not getting me so bad. 
and I have tried everything, spinnerbait and uh, the, the warthog along the side. That fish I got, I put on a shaky head. So a shaky head and a little three inch flapping craw, that's what I caught that on. And now I'm fishing out off the edge. Now I'm fishing stuff I can't see. It's easy to fish the visible cover all the time, which is what I like to do. But there's this uh, point there with uh, like a pad edge and I wasn't getting anything on the edge, so I started working the shaky head, because there's nine or 10 feet. I dropped the bait down to see how deep it is. Nine or 10 feet out here. So I started working the craw out from the, the pad point there, and then finally got bit. So yeah, it feels good to get bit. Hopefully I'm onto something now, so we'll get it back in there. Well, it's not been stellar, but the sun just is, is out now pretty good. It's starting to warm up. I can actually feel a little bit warmer. So hopefully the sun gets these fish going. One pike, one bass, that's all I've got so far. Um, there's a little rock point here, and there's not a lot of rock on this lake. So I'm going to climb up on that rock, stretch my legs, make a coffee, kind of hang out for a bit. And then hopefully this sun, this, hopefully the bite gets better this afternoon anyways. With this sun out, maybe it'll get things going and get things moving. Because, yeah, it's been a struggle so far. Well, I got my backcountry staple into me, a cliff bar, an apple, and a coffee, so I'm all good to go till supper anyway. So, weather's really turning around. The sun's come out. It actually feels quite warm. I'm going to have to lose this jacket. Um, wind is dying down too, which is going to make things a whole lot better. So, got one offshore here. I think things are going to turn around, so I'm hoping for big things this afternoon. So, I'm going to get back in the boat. Hey, that's fighting like a smallmouth. I don't know that there is smallmouth. There is a smallmouth. <laughs> Who knew? Oh, okay. Smallmouth. Largemouth, smallmouth, and pike. Well, there he is, smallmouth bass. I didn't realize there were smallmouths in here. I'm gonna get him back. Yeah, I didn't realize there were smallmouths in here. I just thought it was the largemouths and stuff. So it's kind of a nice surprise. So just getting back to it now after eating there and it's only been a cast or two and I got that fish already. And again on that crankbait. So I wonder if that's gonna be the cue this afternoon. Looks like a little pike again. Yeah. All right. Little pike. Just a little bait, or a little pike on that rattle bait again. Gonna get him back. There he goes. Well, it was at least a fish, a little tiny pike like that on the crankbait. But yeah, just drifting along this edge, throwing a crankbait. And then when there's obvious targets, I'll throw a plastic at it. But yeah, it's just been really tough. Wind's picking up again, but the sun's still out. It's feeling better. So yeah, just keep at it. I'll keep plugging away. Maybe this afternoon, evening, the bite will get better. Oh. 
That's pretty good. That's a good largey. Yeah, crankbaits. Again on that crankbait. Yeah, that's a really good one. Fat, healthy, dark northern bass. So, yeah. Well, I hit that crankbait again. I was just coming down the shoreline and yeah, just smacked that crankbait. I'm actually getting to where I started. I've almost been all the way around the whole lake and yeah, not a lot of action, but now it's getting towards evening and maybe the bite's gonna turn on now. I just keep hoping, right? So I'll keep casting. What do I got? Oh, largey. Got him. Seems to be getting a little more consistent as it gets later, so hope it continues. Another one. I should get my net out. I hate that. There, another gun. I guess I just had to fish all day and wait till evening. I should have just showed up here an hour ago. But I'll take them. They're a good one. Not huge, but healthy black, dark fish. Good bellies on them. Nice. That feels good. What a chunk. Look at that fish. Look at that. That's awesome. What a big fish. That's all of four pounds right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Four pounder for sure. I'm gonna weigh him. I got my scale. We'll see what he is. Look at this thing. This makes me happy. It was a long day, but finally. So let's get the clamp on them. Get that zeroed out. 4.8 pounds. Almost a five pounder. Almost, a, that was actually laying on the ground a bit. Yeah, 4.8, almost a five pounder. That's awesome. That makes for, I was really getting, honestly, it was getting frustrating and I wasn't sure how, what kind of day this is going to turn out to be, but that's awesome. I'm going to get it back here. That's phenomenal. Nice. Oh, all day I struggled. But then one fish, one bite, changes the whole day. And that's why you stick at it and keep at it. So that's awesome. Yes. I guess that's going to be it for me. I got to get back to camp, but pretty interesting day. I mean, I love exploring new water. I love checking out new stuff, but this lake, mm, it just had me. I spent all day in here and really didn't catch a lot of fish until this evening. And that's when it turned around. But I mean, we did have a pretty massive cold front come through. So as a fisherman, I need to have an excuse for not catching them like crazy. So I'm going to go with the cold front thing. But then tonight, actually, as I, you know, 
I was going to give up earlier when I was back in the corner. I was so close to the truck, I was just like, ah, just go. But that's my problem is I just can't stop fishing. I do have an issue with that. So I just have to keep on fishing all the time. So I thought I'd go back out, check this shoreline out. And then I did start catching some fish a little more offshore. And then when I actually got in there to look at what I was catching them on, there was some cabbage. And it was a little deeper cabbage out off the edge. And they must have been just grouped up on that outside cabbage there. And yeah, I got a few good bites. And then that big guy that just sealed the deal. That just made the whole day worthwhile. Had I gone in when I wanted to, it would have been a really disappointing day. But coming back out and keeping out here for another hour or so just changed the whole day and made it awesome. So baits today, I, I caught one on a, on a flapping craw. I don't think I caught any on the stick bait. Most of the fish came on that crank bait. And I'm not a big fan of throwing carrying crates, but when they work it, you gotta throw it. Those trebles are always scary though, if you can do it by yourself. But anyways, had a pretty good day. Enjoyed exploring the new water. I would like to check this lake out again when it's not so cold and windy, like in summertime, when the fish would be biting better. And I'd really love to check this out. Obviously there's some quality fish in here and, and I would like to check it out when conditions are better. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope I'll see you outside. Really? I don't know.